Hi everyone, welcome again to Geeks and Gorgeous. Today I am filming on my new camera. I got uh, a new Fujifilm Fine Pix HS25 EXR camera. And the box looks like this. So it's got a 24mm wide lens, 30x zoom, 16 megapixels. Um, it films in full HDMI or full HD or whatever that is. Anyways, and it's compatible with Windows 7, which is great because that's what I'm running on my computer now. So anyways, I'm excited about the new camera. I got tired of seeing the dead pixels in my video camera that I was using before to film videos for you guys. And um, I was using a hard drive camera, a JVC hard drive camera. And I really liked it. I still like it. I'm going to keep it, I think, as a backup camera if I have issues with this one. Um, but I needed something that was going to be just kind of an all-in-one general purpose camera because the other digital camera that I have besides the phone and the tablet crap, you know, um, was a Fujifilm JC100 or JV100. And it's super cute. It's one of those tiny little pocket cameras. But it's just small and doesn't take the greatest like super up close pictures it's good as like a shove it in your purse and go camera so again I'm probably gonna keep that one but the other thing is the battery doesn't last very long on it and I have a spare battery but they neither neither of them last very long so anyways so I got this one long story short bit of an investment um, I was supposed to pick up a Canon digital camera of some sort from a girl on Facebook on a local buy and sell group and she backed out of the sale last minute which kind of choked me so I was like well whatever I'll just go and buy a brand new one for a little bit more money um, she was gonna sell me her used one it's like a $400 camera that she was gonna give me for a hundred bucks but um, this way it's brand new it's under warranty and if I have issues I just go to Fujifilm and get it sorted so Long story short, right? Um, so the purpose of this whole video today is not about the camera. It is a review for you. Um, so I don't know if I did a review of this product, but I know I've mentioned it in a video or two in the past on my Sapphire makeup channel. And it's the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist Deodorant an antiperspirant. I had used this for years, um, probably probably two or three years, and I got it because I had seen Lisa, and I will put her information below to her YouTube channel, um, I had seen her talking about the deodorant on one of her videos on her channel. She does tons of reviews, she's fabulous, you guys need to check her out if you don't know who I'm talking about. Um, but she had talked about the Donna Karen Cashmere Mist, and I have the travel size as well because I loved it for so long. Um, I've gone through several of these. They come in 1.7 ounce containers, 50 milliliters. The travel size is 1 ounce or 30 grams. Um, I had to stop using it though because I was starting to get really, really, really dry underarms, like cracking and... Um, <clears throat> rashy and sore and itchy and irritated and so I figured it was probably the deodorant and I was right so I switched back briefly to my um, lady speed stick or whatever it was that I was using before I tried the Donna Karen and it actually hurt to apply um, I'm not sure if I've got any of that still kicking around I think I've since tossed it all out Yeah, it's all gone. Anyway, so it actually hurt to put it on over the skin, so I was just like, well, whatever. I'll check this out. So I think the original one that I picked up of the La Vanilla Healthy Deodorant was, I think it was last spring. I think it was last spring. <laughs> I don't even know where I picked it up. Um, to be honest, but I think it was last spring. I think I was in Kelowna and I think I had checked out 
the Sephora store and found it there. That's Colleen sending me messages. Um, so I tried it and fell in love with it and decided that, oh my god, Colleen, <laughs> decided that I was going to keep using it because... <laughs> Because it worked so well, it helped to heal my skin, or maybe it didn't help to heal my skin, but it didn't further irritate my skin. So, um, I've been using it ever since, so I've been using this for at least a year now, and I really, really love it. Um, this is, the first one was the Vanilla Blackberry, the second one that I got was the Vanilla Lavender, and the third one is the Vanilla Passion Fruit. So this one's still sealed. Um... The reason that I have three, <laughs> this is the first one that I tried and I really liked the scent and I really enjoyed it and I decided that I wanted to have one permanently in my travel bag. So I ordered from Sephora online the Vanilla Lavender and that just lives in my um, travel bag. So I never have to be worrying if I've remembered deodorant, it just stays there. And I don't think it's going to go bad anytime soon. Um, and then I picked up the Vanilla Passion Fruit because I'm almost out of the Vanilla Blackberry and figured that I might as well pick one up while I was at a store so I didn't have to order it online and I could smell them all and decide which one I wanted. So I smelled all of the ones that were there and they had Vanilla Blackberry, Vanilla Lavender, Vanilla Passion Fruit, Vanilla Coconut, Plain Vanilla, and Vanilla grapefruit. I think those were all of the ones. So I decided on the vanilla passion fruit. I cannot stand vanilla on its own. I just, it's not my favorite scent at all. So that is never an option for me. Um, and I had actually smelled the vanilla perfume from La Vanilla quite a while back and just stuck it in my sample drawer because it wasn't for me. But Anyways, so what I love about the vanilla, or the La Vanilla um, deodorants is that they're 100% natural ingredients, for the most part. Um, it says, this all-natural, freshly scented deodorant provides superior, long-lasting odor protection. Soothing essential oils blend with powerful antioxidants and beta-glucan technology for daily defense and nourishment. Clinically tested, dermatologist recommended. No harsh chemicals, no petrochemicals, phthalates, propylene glycol, mineral oils, silicone, synthetic dyes, sulfates, or parabens. 100% healthy skin. And, I mean, if you read the ingredients, it's stuff like aloe and cornstarch and coconut and artichoke and honeysuckle like it's all good stuff so like I said I don't think it actually healed the irritation under my arms but it certainly didn't further irritate them and I mean it's not it's not an antiperspirant you're gonna sweat when you wear this stuff but as long as you're not like a super super heavy sweater then it'll be fine, I think. I don't stink a whole lot. I just definitely get like the underarm odor, but it's not major, so this stuff works really well for me. I don't need anything super heavy duty, super clinical, but if you're looking for something super heavy clinical, I wouldn't say not to try this because it might work for you. But it's definitely something that I have found to be not really a lifesaver, but it's been good. It's been good. So it comes in a 57 gram stick or two ounces. So it's bigger than the Donna Karen. It's two or three dollars cheaper than the Donna Karen because the Donna Karen is like $27, I think. And this stuff is 24. So it's still by no means cheap. But like I said, I've had this for almost a year and it still has in it. So do the math like two bucks a month. I think I can handle that considering the fact that the antiperspirant that I used before the Donna Karen crap, I would go through one a month and they were like three or four bucks. So it's maybe not been a huge money savings, but it's been a healthier choice and I love it and they smell good and they're pretty and yeah. So anyways, I hope you found this ramble useful and helpful and I'll try and figure out the settings on my camera and make sure that I'm recording good videos for you guys and yeah 
if you have any questions, comments, concerns, queries, bribes, not bribes, <laughs> um, leave them below and let us know if you'd like us to record any other reviews for you, tutorials, whatever. Um, I hope you found this useful. Talk to you guys soon. See you later. Bye.